Hi, it's Mark Ganser, Technical Account Manager at EAC Product Development Solutions with this week's Tip of the Week. How many of you are working on Creo and say, you know, I'm not really wild about this white background. There's kind of a lot of high contrast in there. How do I change that? Well, you change the system colors where you change almost everything else now in the Options menu. There you've got your Configuration Editor. You've got Model Display, all kinds of things. There's also a System Colors right here. And you can change the various colors of things on the screen. There you've got your basic graphics, your data amenities. Hey, how does geometry show up? So this is where it comes up with all those colors. Now, under graphics, to the right-hand side is background. Now, you can change the color here. Let's just pick something solid to start with. And you get something that looks like that. Pretty decent, a little, uh, little better contrast. You can also go to an older style gradient background. Well, let's uncheck the no gradient. Resets the colors. Now we can go in and play around with, okay, what do you want the top color to be? And what do you want the bottom color to be? And we lost our little background GUI there. Let's grab that. There we go. So let's kick on that swath right here. And just for ease of use, I'm going to hit the color wheel. And the top, let's grab some sort of a darker blue. Okay, and on the bottom, let's grab a little lighter blue color. There we go. Now you've done this as a once-off, and let me move this so you can see what it looks like. If I change that color, any of the other colors, how do I make that permanent? Well, you've got a button here that says Export, and you can export that file off, put it somewhere where you want to store it, where you remember it, and it's uh, the, the file format is .scl, system colors file. Usually just go with a default of syscall. Now, once I've got that saved somewhere, how do I tell Creo Parametric where to find it? Well, there's a config option. Right here, let me expand this. System underbar colors underbar file. You add that to your config file, add the full path to where you just saved that syscall file to, and that will put those colors in place every time you fire up. Now, you may have noticed, as we've gone through all this fun, there was no way to really grab that old button we used to have that says, Use Pre-Wildfire Colors. Well, for those folks who still like that, if you've still got a version of Wildfire up and running, and I've got one here, if you go to View, Display Settings, and you wouldn't believe how hard this stuff is to remember anymore once you've been on Creo for a while, go to System Colors, that still had this pull-down right here for pre-wildfire. Another thing you want to do is it has pre-wildfire entity mappings. So that basically is what changes the color of datum planes and such. Pre-wildfire is the rest of the scheme. So you can say I want to use pre-wildfire entity colors, and I want to go to pre-wildfire scheme. There's the old scheme we all know and love. And you can say save this off as a system color file again. Once you have that saved off, you can apply that to Creo the same way you can with any other file. So I've saved that one off. You would use this config option to point to that new file. But here's what it looks like. And let's just load that right now. Go to Options. Go to System Colors. And I've got a Browse button to load a file. And let's go to where this thing lives. And there it is, pre-wildfire syscall. Open that up. And you've got the old scheme, not only for datums, but your background, how things pre-highlight, and all the rest of the color scheme as well, including surfaces. Now, if you have any questions on this video or any of the others in the series, go ahead and contact us at EAC, or better yet, leave a comment in the comment field below. Thanks, and have a great rest of your day.